Hi, my name is Zorit. I teach Python and in this video I'm going to show you how to use function range to solve very popular job interview problem called palindrome, all right? So, uh, yeah, you could expect to get this question during the job interview. You have to be prepared. All right, so first thing first, what is palindrome? So palindrome would be a word that you could read uh, backwards to, let's say, like race, car. So that would be an example of a palindrome. Now, uh, usually you take this word as an input. So our goal here is to ask user for a, a word and tell a user whether or not that would be a palindrome. Now, my approach when I started searching for a solution for a problem, I know how to take input, so I could actually change that later. But for now, let's assume that we got that race car as an input from a user. Now, how are we going to solve this problem? So, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, we need to check each first letter with the last letter next letter with this letter and see if there is a perfect match, then that would be palindrome. Now question, how do we split it into two halves? Now we could use function lane and pass here a word and that would get us seven, seven characters. And if you watched my previous videos where I was explaining you how to use floor division, we could actually use floor division to get middle index. So three would be middle index. So for example, if you do word square brackets, this, you're going to get E. Why? Because it's in the middle. So that's the way how you could get middle. All right, cool. Now you remember function range. I mean, I've showed it many, many times. If you're not sure how to use function range, a range, you could go to Python documentation or you could watch one of my previous videos. So here I will create a range and I will use for loop for, let's call this index because we're talking about uh, index here in range. And you just seen that lane word uh, divided by two will get us what? Will get us three. So if you print index you expect to see what zero one two zero one two right because again range generate uh numbers in in some range so since three is excluded so we see zero one two now using this we could actually pass this apply this to a word and you see we get an RAC for the first half of that, right? So here I'm gonna print index and word index so you see how that stuff works. Now, our goal now to compare this with that other part. So, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna create this label and you see direction. So, in this case, we're moving in this direction from left to right. So now I need to construct exactly the same thing, but this time I gotta go from right to left. So here I'll just print this stuff. I'll change direction. Again, the reason uh, behind these labels, I just wanna show you how that stuff works under the hood. And now what I wanna do, I wanna change this index, all right? So what will be my index? My index will be, instead of using index, I'll use function lane and pass here word, all right? And we know that lane word gets a seven because apparently there are seven letters in this word. So what we need to do, we need to decrease it by index because we need to move, because we need to move index and by one because uh, uh, there is no seven so if I run it like this it will give me an error so the first one on that far right would be six so lane word seven 
minus 1 gets us 6 and then we use index to decrease that number. So first index would be 0, then 1 and 2. Watch me, I'm going to run this and now you see first iteration index is 0 and then here we could actually print this stuff. So you could compare it to indices and see how that stuff works. All right, so first iteration, we grab grabbing first letter by index zero and last letter by index six. Second iteration, we grab grabbing next letter by index one and this letter by index five and so on, right? So now all we have to do is just to compare them we need to compare them and to compare them and to see if that word is a palindrome, I'm going to create a flag variable is palindrome and I will assign true. So I assume that any word you'll give me will get me palindrome. Even if it got nothing to do with the palindrome, suppose you give me apple, I assume that that's a palindrome. And then I could change that value after I run this code. And all I need to do, I need to do this if statement. So here I'm going to place this if statement. And if they won't match, so then I will reassign the value of palindrome to false. So then here what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this part from here. And I say, if not equal, exclamation equal sign means not equal. And then I'll place this part not equal to this. So what's going to happen then? I'll change the value of this is palindrome to false. All right, and at the end of the day, all I need to do, I'll need to check if it's uh, uh, true or false. So here, I don't need this part anymore. I'm gonna remove this part. And then I could say, all right, if, oops, not here. If is palindrome, then I wanna print and say uh, something like, um, word is palindrome else because there are two options I want to say print word is not is not palindrome then we could change this to first of all let's run it on the race car race car is palindrome however you could give it a try and run a bunch of different scenarios so you could use input function input and ask for a word give me a word so if you run this and somebody gives you apple so then it's not a palindrome however if it's race car so then it that would be a palindrome all right, so pretty simple solution. Here we're using function range. Go through this code. If you find this code a little bit confusing, maybe that's true, but you need to know how to solve this problem using function range because most of the time they would ask you to solve this problem using function range. And uh, run it a couple of times and rewrite this code a couple of times and believe me, it will make much more sense. Thank you.